And I love this story. Folks who are in the mood for a melody know where to go to find North Dakota's piano man. He's performed at a bar in small rural town for the better half of a century. Cliff Naylor takes us off the beaten path to Wilton to introduce us to an ageless entertainer. These well-aged fingers glide over ivory keys with the greatest of ease. Orville Speeton has devoted decades and decades of his life to music. He's good. He's a good player. The sportsman's bar reserves a piano stool for Orville whenever he wanders in. Every now and then, someone in the crowd chimes in. I've actually got up and sang with him a couple times, do some Andrew Sisters music with him. This seasoned soloist has an immense playlist. Any waltz. German, Norwegian, Swedish, he knows them all. His musical talents are absolutely phenomenal, and it's even more impressive that he doesn't know how to read notes. He does it all by ear. Don't know a note. Orville has been playing by ear since 1933. I hope I can do that when I'm that age. He started orchestrating music with his dad, who played fiddle. Now this veteran prodigy performs all over town. He plays in church, he plays at the senior center, he plays at the nursing homes. Orville has six children, 13 grandkids, and 17 great-grandchildren. He's inspired a love of music in most of them. Us kids, when we were real little, would dance around in the dining room, and then he's the one that inspired us to learn how to dance, because he has rhythm. His kids still dance to the beat of his fingers. If you haven't done the math yet, Orville is almost a century old. He's a 25-year-old stuck in a 95-year-old body. <laughs> yep. He's got a simple strategy for staying young. He always says you better use it or you'll lose it. Use it or lose it, everything I say, you know. Orville also plays a mean harmonica and guitar. Making music with his mouth and strings is what Orville hopes to be remembered for. Nobody plays guitar and harmonica yet, especially my age. He plans to get in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the oldest person to play those instruments. And Wilton be on the map when I'm gone. Setting a world record is the only thing left on his bucket list. Orville doesn't need to accomplish that goal to be appreciated. He's an inspiration to almost everyone who meets him. He's like the ever ready rabbit. Yes, he just keeps going and keeps going. That comparison doesn't include playing a drum. At his age, Orville's sticking with what has worked the past 95 years. In Wilton, Cliff Naylor, NBC North Dakota News. And today, today, Monday, November 23rd, is Orville's birthday. He turns 96. And listen to this. He recently got his driver's license renewed and says that it won't expire until he turns the big one double zero. Four years to go.